All right, folks, the deck is Pogo Rogue. The goal is to use efficient Octobot to reduce the cost of our Battlecry minions, then with field contact, draw through our deck using low cost battle cries, eventually scaling up our pogo hoppers and shuffling them back into our deck with lab recruiter and togwaggle scheme. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Armor vendor was not the play? I mean, it's entirely possible I would have been dead a turn or two sooner if I hadn't armor vendored so many times. It's easy to say that with the power of hindsight. I think I coin the Swindle, then play the Octobot. The problem with the Octobot is I am not likely to have a way to activate it against Priest. Unless I draw, like, a Prize Plunderer. This is not a good hand. If I get a broom, I can clear that without giving them a card. Prize plunder works too. Sheesh Karna. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate that support. I'm going to get greedy and try and brand the Gazamicus. I want to save this. So, maybe I'm not doing that. Eh, I could go here. See what we get off of this. Octobot Pogo. I would love to keep this, but... Not gonna happen, is it? Let's get some more cost reduction. Like, when the first demon came down, I didn't have the flick, so I couldn't... I couldn't flick it, right? Janave, thank you for the underbits. Your YouTube content is always part of my morning routine, and your OnlyFans is part of my evening routine. Well then. I don't know where to go from there. Thank you for that support. I don't think we're getting... Uh, Octobot value here. Let's get a 5 and a 1. Stealth. Draw 2. Yeah, this is good. Poisonous damage. Cool. Dysfunctional, dysfunctional. Let's see if we can bait them into uh, killing the brand here. Success. At last, Old Kazamicus. Hey, thanks, Ollie. Well, now we can get some cost reduction. And clear the board. Oh, come on! It's like a Kazamicus fight. His amicus wins. No, nope. it's fine. I hope you like my invention. Really need to find like the field contact before going in too hard on the uh, the bunnies. I think. Oof. 
efficient. Uh, field contact or secret passage off the top would be ideal. But they are pretty light on cards, then again, so am I. Second bunny's a 5-5 again because of the, uh, the first one was used with a brand. I don't want to dilute my deck just yet. I don't think it's worth a 3-3 three, three here. Or a 3-2. I'd rather wait on the field contact. This is an Anduin. Or not. Field contact waiting room. It's kind of a gamble, right? Oh, that makes sense. They've got a lot of good stuff in there. Maybe that's not true. They've got a Raza. They need a good potion off of this if they want to win, I think. It has potential to be a good potion. The fact that we've, like, forced them to use so many resources is uh, what's keeping us in this game. I've got uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Probably need to play the bunny here. Oof. That's a real big oof. Alright. Card draw waiting room. I don't think it's uh, realistic to expect a classic control deck to ever return to wild just because there are so many decks that can end the game on the spot. Like it's not, it's not a lack of control tools that make that push out control. It's the, um, it's just the speed at which other decks can close out the game. In a format in which Maligos Druid and Raza Priest exists, like a classic control deck doesn't really have much of a chance. This must be Anduin. Oh. Damn. Well, that's the uh, the worst draw I could hit, aside from maybe the Armor Vendor. Watch me hit a Colossus of the Moon off of this, too. God. Absolutely brutal draws. They're gonna get uh, probably three full cards off of that. This is... Well, now my only out is Secret Passage. It's a card that doesn't do anything. Cool. 
me abandon your website because I have a finite amount of time and maintaining it took a lot of my time that I don't have anymore. Oh, thank God. It's quiet. Too quiet. We drew them both on the, that's not ideal, but. All right. Uh, even with a Reno or an Anduin, I think Anduin is worse for us than Reno, which it looks like is the one that they hit, but they've been hitting the early hero power consistently, so maybe not. Yeah. It's like the field contact might stick. That's a really good draw. I see Nothing but spy one thing. They're out of AoE removal, right? They played Scream, Hysteria, Zeph. I don't think there's any value in bouncing the Elotha, but this uh, maintains lethal even through a uh, Reno. Guys, going all in on the Lothab doesn't do anything because then we just lose to Anduin. Like, there's what spells are we blocking? The light has betrayed. So Shadow stepping and replaying the um, the Lothab doesn't accomplish anything. I want to save uh, these for the field contact turn. Surprisingly, I didn't play Anduin sooner, same. I thought... I kept seeing turns where they had the opening for it, but passed on it. I've only got one um, bunny left, so I need to make it count. Is there pings not hitting me in the face at least? But... I don't have a way to set up lethal here. So many options. Flick draws, yes, but this might go to fatigue. Like, they haven't renoed yet, so I can't just go all in on that. I need to use all of their resources against them. Might buy me a turn against their reno. I want to save the flick for the reno. Or um, some other minion, maybe the spawn. Do I want to use this on the uh, Lothab or the Flick? Nothing gets They're going to Reno this turn, right? Like, they have to. And even with the spawn, I don't know that they have the cards that kill us. This dies to- I'm just gonna hero power here. They have potentially Hysteria.
Three no in hand, can you still win? Yep. That's why I saved the flick. And I also just have one massive pogo hopper remaining. Can I die to four cards with spawn from here? I think I have to bounce the pogo. It's just a bit too small here. I don't think this accomplishes anything when I've got uh, 28 showing from the... Uh, they might have a renew. We haven't seen renew yet, so maybe I need to play this. Almost out of cards. We for vengeance. Easy. I, make my own. I think I need to keep the broom just because it's like my only chance in this matchup. Just go turn one, question mark, turn three. Octobot on gives me a turn two. Even though it's not Odd Paladin this time, I still am going to want the uh, animated broomstick. Sonya and Carpet not good in this deck? Uh, no, not particularly. I think Broom does Carpet's job better and Sonya doesn't do anything. That's really unfortunate for me. Like, game losing unfortunate for me. So, that's too bad. Okay, it's hand buff. Armor, armor, use armor. It's maybe okay. Right? Like, they take time to get set up. I'm just really bent out of shape about losing that uh, Octobot, to be honest with you. <laughs> Probably gonna want to save the Zilliax because they're gonna make big boys, and I'm gonna want to uh, get my pogos attached to them. I think I lose if I give up the Zilliax this early, but maybe I have to. What are my alternatives? Secret Passage and Pray. Sure. Is some damage. Unity, precision, perfection. Flee. 
Cool. That's why I needed to save the Zilliax. Hope they don't have a second Horse Raider. Horse Raider is a bummer into this because I don't get the healing most of the time. May the light grant you peace. So that gets uh, Conviction, which is kind of a flip if they want to take the Pogo off the board. So we might be able to stick this Pogo, but they have a lot of Rush minions, so... No Divine Shield 7 attack? I mean... They could, though, especially with that Conviction draw. Oh, absolutely brutal. Oh, wait, he died. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Whoops. I got baited by that. Where's our pogos? Apparently not here. I'll play one of the brooms, but I'll keep the other. Yeah, with the Guardian, I probably want to have a broom in hand. Might as well punch. I haven't done that since, like, turn two when I played the... <laughs> when I played the dagger. Was it turn two? No, because I was turn two I was crying about my Octobot. The opponent didn't know the card? Well, neither did I, so... <laughs> opponent's not alone there. That's a big oof. I'm going to lose my field contact there. It's the second time I forgot to read the card. I'm gonna save the broom again because I can just play this instead and uh, trade down. Go here, here. I think I want to preserve this. I'll take three to keep it alive. I think we. Uh, I think we are winning from here most of the time. Would trading the 3-1 first be better for Flick? Um, it's one health minion, so it wouldn't change anything. Rather than one, like, rather than one attack, so they're not going to draw the Crab Rider. Oh, there we go. I think I can just uh, Seeker Passage this turn. Was that the perfect Secret Passage? I want you and you and you. Break it, you fire. Nothing. Uh, I've got... S I'm just going face. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, that was not a very consistent hit. Like, I had what? Ten cards in my deck and I hit... Uh, because I put three more back in. No, I had eleven cards in my deck, right? It's time to bear off. I don't think most... Uh, and buff paladins are running bear off. It's too reactive. Which people would just concede instead of quitting? I think they're still here. I mean, we still got 20 on board from the two pogos. Okay, keep the Swindle. I'll pitch the other two back. Swindle isn't that great in this deck because I don't have a lot of uh, activators in the early game, so maybe I just hard mull for 
the Octobot. If I were on the coin, I might have kept the Swindle there. And we got one back anyway. Ooh, nice. Kitty cat. Yeah, probably just playing that next turn, following my curve. Hey, thanks for the kind words, Mr. Snowpaw. Glad you're liking the YouTube. That might be problem. I can use this to activate this next turn. And I'm not quite to the point where I can get a good field contact pop-off because uh, they're going to start murdering me. I almost added uh, Glacial Shard into this deck instead of the Pharaoh Cat, but then I was like, nah, nobody's playing King's Bane anymore. Well, that's a large man. Is Amicus? Okay, I need to figure out when I'm going to get this down. This is the best deck to use in a wild right now? I have no idea. I don't know that anybody does this. Like, the nerfs aren't that far out still. I think I go Kazamicus for a one pot. Or a one mana golem. And then next turn I try and get the Octobot down. Taunt. Taunt. I just need to protect my face because I don't really have much in the way of healing until I get a big um, bunny into the, uh, the Zilliax. Wait, that's illegal. You're not allowed to play nerfed cards. Well, this is kind of concerning. One, two, three. Okay. I'm just going to have to go in without the Octobot. It's quiet. Too quiet. Give me that. Not what I There's the Pogo. Give me that. Not what I Let's take a... Uh... Couple of value trades here. Secret Ashlyn, thank you for extending your sub. And uh, the Incredible Bee, thank you for the 200 bits. Your even mage list plus the nerfed Jandis and unnerfed Archivist Elysiana has been killing it for me in Wild. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Glad it's working out for you. Okay, this combination of cards is what we're looking for. But I probably do want to shuffle some of these in um, in the near future so that I can make them bigger. And I believe that near future is now. All right. So depending on how many pogos I draw next turn, um, probably looking like a octobot into Lothab. Just wrecking our taunts though, aren't they? What if I go octobot into Zilliax and that's just my healing for the game? Is that enough to win here? They have no cards remaining. This is always happening, right? Hmm. Unless I want to go here and here. I think most things I do here probably win me the game. If I'm only taking six, is there anything that kills me off the top if I just, like, Lotheb? I'm just going to go with the safe line. I think this is game winning, and I don't really need to do anything else. I was just being greedy because I wanted to put uh, that on a pogo, but I don't. I don't need to. Hey, Daniel. Yeah, that's a lot of healing, and uh, we did some damage to the opponent as well. Oh wait, no, we didn't because of their uh, paralytic poison. We're one damage off now. Doesn't matter. I 
should be no singular card that beats us. Leroy is uh, Leroy is lethal. Nice low thub. What do you think of the Celestial Alignment Malagos Druid? I played it, it was a lot of fun. I like I like the double Mali. It just, it feels more fun than the, and it's probably just because it's different, but it feels more fun because it's like, I don't know, there's a lot of action going on with the deck. You, it's different than just play Psych Melon on four, ramp, get to Aviana, Innervate, uh, Kuhn, and then go, th go off. Like, I don't know, it's just more interesting to me. And again, part of that is just the novelty of it, I'm sure, but like it does feel like you have to bonk through your turns a little bit more than just like autopiloting the combo. I'm gonna hold the uh, Pharaoh Cat since I drew that. Uh-oh. Gonna need to uh, find Lotheb. I think that's my path to victory here. Just shuffle a bunch of Lothebs in. So I need to draw. There we go. Do you need Geppetto for Celestial Druid? Nope. Uh, you have... <laughs> you have UI. Um... I think you only need, what, two legendary minions? Three with Vargoth? It's quiet. It's quiet. Ooh, there's our win condition. Turn we go Lotheb into Shuffle. And then we just spam a bunch of Lothebs, I think. Unless we're dead here. Then we probably cry. And that's too bad. The future is ours. Doesn't look like a pop-off turn. Behold the tools of creation. It looks like a uh, setup into the combo turns. Unless they just top decked a wanker here. Uh oh, that's a problem. Behold, the tools yeah, I think we might die here. They've got double biscuit in hand. Nope. Okay. Maybe we can do this. Ooh. Oh, that might be a game winning draw. Because next turn is still a concern, right? Unbelievable. Probably make a little bit of board space here. But there's no guarantee that we draw the Lothab next turn, so I this guarantees that I get a Lothab effect in play. And I think we win. Well, that works too. Break it, you buy it. Do not kill. Break it, you buy it. I see you. They can't win by just freezing one Lothab turn after turn, so. Lothab and step? No, I want to pace it like they're... Like, I want to pace out my resources a little bit better. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, Brian Huynh, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Keys404, Noggleshire, 
Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix.